On today's video, we have a short follow-up to part one of this video series, where we printed and tested a total of eight different shelf brackets. And out of those original eight brackets we started with, these three made our top recommendations for how well they were able to hold up to 100 pounds. And although we had previously tested the brackets for eight days, we wanted to see how these three would do over six months. So we installed the brackets in a non-temperature controlled space. On each shelf, we placed a weight that was approximately 38 pounds. We felt that this was at the higher end of what someone would realistically want to place on a 3D printed shelf long term. I was curious to know if an extreme change could trigger a failure in one of the brackets. And luckily, I live in Minnesota, where the weather and the humidity can vary quite a bit season to season. During the testing, the temperature in the summer rose to a high of 92 degrees Fahrenheit or 33 degrees Celsius and reached a low in the winter time of negative 6 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 21 degrees Celsius. And the shelves withstood it all. By the end of the six months, I was extremely impressed to find everything exactly how we left it. We then moved the shelves back inside to test one last time if there had been a drop in capacity or how square they were to the wall. Up first for the final test, the design by Colbert Riley, and it was still able to hold 100 pounds with no issues. We did, however, notice a small deviation in terms of how square it was to the wall compared to how it looked six months ago. But given that this bracket isn't able to support as much of the shelf as the other designs, I still think this is a very strong choice. The overhead bracket by Maker was also able to hold the weight, and with this design, we didn't see any deviation in how square it was to the wall. It's just as much out of square as it was six months ago. And our final design by User was as good as it gets through all this retesting. This design still remains square after all this time, and it's probably my favorite and top recommendation. It really showcases what's possible with 3D printing. And I wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who watched the first video. We really appreciate the support. If you have any ideas for what you'd like us to do next, please let us know down in the comments.